Ladies and gentlemen, welcome tonight to the Rated R Esports League of Legends game of the Phoenix Rising League 2019. We are going up against SPK Big Brain. Enough with the intro of the stream. Let's introduce me, Benjur Hadre Sorensen, and Brock Proden Rubino. How you doing, Proden? I'm good, and hello again. And I am uh, I'm ready to do some casting again. Excellent. We are going to bring you here this game number one against SBK Big Brain. We're looking really forward to this one as last week we got our nice 1-1 one, one victory. Our squad looking to get more wins under their belt, progressing toward the finish line of this tournament. Now, before we get into picks and bands, we do have to announce we are going to be giving away some t-shirts during the stream. So, I will have details for that once we get into the game. So... Broden, let's go ahead and talk picks and bands here. Uh, Vladimir, Kale, and LeBlanc taken away. Not really targeted toward anyone, would you say? Uh, I know Bendy Neck plays Kale. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming that's a band towards him, because that's the only time I ever see that band is when he's in the game. All right, and then going up here to Rated R's bands, the Anivia, Renekton, and Ezreal, those... Uh, the guys were talking about it. Shockpool plays a lot of Renekton. Professor Explosive also very proficient on the Anivia. Ezreal being a really high priority for Bethel. I remember talking with the team about it. Those those were the priority three. And then Nunu being the fourth, which you can see One Bear did pick up. Yeah, he played that last week too. So I'm assuming that's more of a comfort chat for him right now uh, in the jungle. Which a Nunu... Mm -hmm. If Nunu is like not behind he's probably one of the most annoying junglers on the planet in my opinion <laughs> or in agreed because he's just so tanky it's just yeah. ridiculous so coming into the second half of the ban phase everyone just understand this might take a little bit longer because there was a complication with spk big brains composition uh, rather their roster so they have forfeited their second round of bands so we'll just have an extra 40 seconds in here but it gives us a chance to talk more about the picks pike being picked up to go with the sivir on the bottom side for rated r what do you what do you think about that that's a lot of good strong champions here especially on 914 where pike can now stun minions and monsters as opposed to only champions yeah, uh, he doesn't do any damage to them when he goes through. They took that away, but um, they have Silas up, and he's he's gonna have already like some decent uh, ultimates to steal at Pike one. Uh, you know, Nunu will be good for him too, because you know, he can pop that and do just a ton of damage because he's gonna build AP. Where Nunu's gonna not do quite as much with it because he doesn't normally build AP. Um, mm -hmm. Sivir, you know, it'll help with the engage with, I mean, Kled, Kled engage, Nautilus engage, they're gonna have a ton of engage, so, Nunu's not terrible to stop that engage, though, when, you know, you pop the ultimate, slow everyone down, and maybe get in the way, and then be, hopefully be tanky enough to absorb that first bit of damage, so Sivir can pull back and start putting the boomerangs through the team, uh, chunk them out, and then Pike can do what he does, and start executing everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think it's. I think so far we've seen a lot of good picks coming out of here. Decent strategies, you know, picking some very powerful champions. Not very often you see Kled coming in recently. He he had a stint of pro play for a bit, but I'm glad to see him back again. He's a very strong, especially with the adjustment made in 914, where he reduces healing by 60% if he gets the second half of his bear chop on a rope. Yeah, it's. It, the, him and Katarina have the strongest anti-healing uh, in the game now. It's better than yeah. the standard uh, Grievous Wounds you get off like the items. So uh, For sure. The, I, they don't have a super high healing comp. I mean, Nunu, it'll definitely hurt if he's in the middle of a fight. Um, Camille, maybe a little bit with her you know, her uh, W, but you know, it'll, it'll stop a little bit of that healing if she's trying to disengage and heal, but... Um, and I think that's mostly what it is because you typically see Kled in that top side and a, a common first item in the, the top lane recently has been that Corrupting Potion. You know, Irelia grabs that, uh, Camille should be grabbing that, and that's a way to deal with it is reducing that healing, meaning that you can trade more often, which is something you want to do with Kled because you just deal so much damage at that level 2 mark. Yeah, definitely. I mean, his his all-in's pretty 
pretty nasty when he has his passive up on his uh, his auto attack buff he has. Um, the last part does a percentage of missing health, so that, that can hurt you pretty bad. Very, very true. I'm liking the drafts right now. We can see everything that's going to be on Summoner's Rift. And so once we get on, I want everyone in the chat to spam the Pog Champ at the beginning of the game. Now, if you're early, you may not win. If you're too late, you're also not going to win. We're going to pick some people at random to give away a Rated R Esports t-shirt once we're on to Summoner's Rift with the spamming of Pog Champ. Now, we've, we figured that was appropriate due to uh, a roster mix-up here. It's pretty funny. Uh, the, the recent bust to everything. I promise it's funny, okay? Proton, why aren't you laughing? <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't. I understand. It is okay. But here we go. Into our spectator delay, now we get a, a chance to, to really discuss more matchups, what we expect to see some of the, the training that our guys here for Rated R Esports have been doing has been shifting away from the, the skirmishes toward objectives. That's, that's where we've been struggling, especially from the game we were able to stream last week. Yeah, definitely want to slow down on the skirmishes and focus more on objectives. Um, it seemed like the team got caught up in just constantly skirmishing and the skirmishes they were taking were not in their favor for the most part, uh, which really got them behind early. I think they just slowed down and uh, let the game come to them. I think they would have done a lot better. Agreed. And I believe it was maybe two turrets they took down. So all that gold in those plates was just sitting on the map, disappeared at that 14-minute mark, and they were unable to catch up really from there. And one of the things I really like about the composition here is the, the push power of the Sivir Pike. They have so much pressure down there, they can get up toward that turret and they can start getting those objectives, especially down on that, that bottom side closer to the Drake. That's what you want to see. Uh, Syndra, also very good at clearing waves. Camille, great at trading and forcing your enemy laner out so that then Nunu can force his way up in the top side and do that same thing, pressure on those plates. Yeah, I just I, I I hope I hope they just slow down though and let the game come. Let Sever let Sever scale up. You know, don't let her don't get her behind because she's gonna outwave clear everyone on their team with Syndra. Her and Syndra like they cannot even compete with that wave clear once they get going. So <clears throat> like just play the game slow and if you don't get like Twitch or or Silas or Nico ahead or whatever um, or Cled, you know anyone on their team could could possibly carry this game if they get far enough ahead. On the, uh, on the enemy team, so, you know, just play it slow with this team, because really, they have to engage hard on you, because they don't have the same wave clear. I mean, N Nico can wave clear, but it's not the same as what Syndra and Sivir can do together. Uh, right. Syndra can clear a whole wave by herself, you know, in just a moment, so so can Syndra. Uh, Nico, it's a little bit longer, she's got to eat, you know, she's got to throw a root through the the minions and then she can hit the back line but then the, the front line she's going to have to wait for another round to come up and clear it so she doesn't quite have the wave clear um, but they just if they slow down you know just just assault the tower slowly with their wave clear just slowly push in you know disengage when they have to I, I really think they play this this slow I mean not slow like when you want to get an objective you know push the objectives fast but when you're assaulting the turrets you know, just play it slow. You don't have to dive the turret. You've got right. disengage with Camille. You know, you've got you've got Pike who can help disengage. You got Nunu. So just let your backline do its work and keep them safe. But especially with the amount of engage we were talking about during Champion Select, you know, Kled's charge, being able to do so much, an ult stolen by Silas, Nautilus having one of the greatest backline attacking ultimates in the game, and I, I do agree with you, is you cannot just run at this team because they don't need that distance, they need to activate the spell. Yes. A lot of care needs to be taken by Rated R Esports in this game. We are at one and one, which is the best record we have had in one of our big tournaments, and congratulations there. Coming into game number one against SPK Big Brain. Let me see some pog champs in the chat. Random winner will receive a Rated R Esports t-shirt we will get your information after the game 
Here we go. Moving out onto the map. I, I want to say both teams should look for an invade here. The champions are such that it would be good. You have Pike and Nautilus, who both are great in the, in the invading style. Yeah, I think depending on how the invade went, and if Pike could get a multi-person stun, it would almost be better on them, but you have to watch out for that Nautilus hook and then root to the ground, because that first... Oh, here we Speaking go. of, here we go, because they did catch him. He is in the middle of the entire Rated R Esports line of Baby Q. Will not go down first. They are still fighting. Crazy Clown might actually be at first blood over to Rito Bronze 5. And now Shockpool is in the front. He gets pulled back off of Scarlet and taking a lot of damage here. Another kill. Bethel does get the kill on to Bendy Neck. And actually Shockpool is somehow still alive. One Bear pulled in. He gets the kill on the Baby Q. They're still fighting. And Professor Hexplosive gets the kill on the One Bear. Bethel it now in the front. Gets ignited. Mono has to flash away. Rito in the front line has a little bit of damage but will not be able to get it at the flash forward from Professor Hexplosive. And what a level 1 for the 5 kill! <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> that was out of control. Out of control is right. <laughs> what a setup. That first ward there from Rated R Esports spotting the possible invade. A wonderful idea. Understanding that Nautilus, like we were talking about, one of the best invaders in the game. No reason to just let him walk in there. A perfect setup. First blood going to Rated R, but... They were not able to come out fully ahead there. A trade of three Good trade to two. by Bende, Nick. Using that shield exactly how you're supposed to do. I like Camille as a champion. She was very, very powerful when she first came out. I remember she was must pick, must ban for a long oh, time. Yeah. When she could kill off the wave? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was busted. They fixed that, though, everybody. Her W, that per... It, the sweeping strike doesn't heal off of minions anymore. You know, I like, I like that we got a kill on Sivir, but I don't like that Nico got two kills. Yeah, that is really rough. Claude here gonna take a bit of damage. A decent trade. They weren't able to fully get that back. But bottom lane going all right here. But one at zero and two. Rito uses a nice spell shield here. Claude gonna miss oh. that hook on the baby Q. That would have Bethel been a gonna great trade. trade of damage back had he landed that hook and pulled him back. That would have definitely taken Nautilus below half health. Agreed. And now, let's keep an eye on our junglers here. Up near the top side is Mr. One Bear. Gonna take those Krugs, get the experience, stay roughly even in those CS numbers. Each camp giving four. But then Silas on the bottom side, Crazy Clown, has done a crazy thing and gone in for the trade here on the bottom side. Trade is not what I meant. The counter jungle is what what I was meaning to say. And yeah. you can see the pings coming in here. Hopefully one bear will know to go vertical jungle. And I think that's why Bendy Neck is moving down here, getting a ward to spot out that scuttle crab. Baby Q pulled in by Claude. Damage down onto Bethel. Nice use of the spells here. Claude is going to get the stun and the ignite oh. down onto Bethel. Ignite onto Rito. Which jungler is there? That's no! the jungler, Rito. He does have his flash. He might be able to make it out. Rito does flash, and Claude is now being chased by a crazy clown. As we jump up to the top side, Claude is going to make it out, as will Rito. And that right there is a full positive. No! He goes over the wall with the chain. Oh. And crazy clown gets the kill onto Claude. Bending neck knocks Shockpool off of Scarl and the trade ends there. You know, the damage on Silas, like, they say they nerfed oh, him some, but... There's another fight here. Uh, hook shot down onto Shockpool. Not quite no, able to get the kill no. with the flash, and Shockpool gets Scarl back with, like, 20 hit points. Oh, man. Like, yeah, I, hate to see I really hate that when this, you almost kill the guy, he's got no hit points, and you blew your flash for it. Yeah, I think Kled is one of the most tilting champions in the game. I really don't like fighting him. Mono here gonna be slowed and rooted. Hexplosive dealing a lot of damage, but in comes one bear. The kill does not go through to Hexplosive. One bear is gonna be able to hit that Look root. Look at that, see? Gets the damage. Red buff is gonna be slowing and dealing damage over time, but a nice Tangle Barbs disengages and Hexplosive makes it out. He just comes in there, tanks everything up, eats a minion, heals up, I mean... Ah, it's so annoying. In they go onto Claude again. 
but he is Pike. He'll be able to get out of there quickly with that Phantom Undertow, or no, sorry, that's the wrong spell, but with his passive, able to just heal up once these no longer in vision. Another I'm beautiful champion. The patience of the team so far. Last time, the game was already just out of control of fights. I think we probably had like double the amount of kills at this point in time last week. Yes, it was quite <laughs> chaotic. But now, looking back here, I didn't see any pog champs there for that free t shirt from Rated R Esports. Go ahead and throw those in. Also, look for the following if you see an ace for Rated R Esports, meaning they take down all five members of the enemy team, throw down an FB touchdown. If you see us get the Elder Drake, go for a squid. You need all four pieces of the squid. Hey, what's up? Rated R from Cash NATO. Love it, man. Thanks for dropping by. If Rated R Esports picks up the Baron, throw in Dorito and Morphin Time. If we get beyond 3,000 gold behind and start to win. Those are a, the what you need to spam to possibly get a free Rated R Esports t-shirt. So what I'd like to see is them uh, put some emphasis on getting this first dragon. Like, um, and see Silas is down bottom and I, I'm, I'm, he's gonna look for a gank, I guarantee it right now, because they're probably wanting to get that dragon as well. So I think Nunu mm -hmm. probably needs to be going down towards bot, because if they can get one of the bot laners to go back... There we go, a flash in, Rito does use the spell shield, nice block there from Claude Dupree, he's gonna jump away, and Rito doesn't have his flash, remember, he has to use the summoner heal, but they are gonna make it out alive, but just barely. Yikes, that full stack, <laughs> that did a lot of damage. And see, this is the problem now, is now they don't have, they don't have dragon priority in the bot lane. Um, if they if they go to get that, I don't know if they can contest it. No, you would have to go in with uh, jungle and mid lane's help. But here we go, Bendy Neck trading in underneath the turret. Shot pool gets knocked off of Scarl, but that also disengages turret aggro. Flashes over and gets the kill. Shot pool taking down Bendy Neck. Did you see the uh, the minion block that Bendy Neck went through? She, like walked just like in a tiny little circle for a moment and could not get out. Might have to talk about it in a minute. Bethel gets ignited here. One bear is going low, but Bethel gets killed by Claude Dupree. One for one. Double kill for Claude Dupree right now. This is a 3v2. Baby Hugh going to be the next target. Mono is in the fray, and Rito goes on a killing spree for this, Rated R Esports. This is what we want right here. Sivir ahead. If Sivir's ahead, what do you do in this bottom lane? You cannot shove the lane on her, and if you try, she insta-clears it and just chunks you out with her boomerangs. Like, three a, kills. Looks really good here from the bottom side. Rito, just for everyone's information, this guy is young. Like, Froden, give me a guess on how old you think Rito is. I think you told me, and I don't... Was it 17? This bro is 16 years 16. old. Okay, I was off, I was off. And he is rocking it here in the bottom lane for Rated R Esports. Congratulations on that killing spree. Can I get a Pog Champ for a free T-shirt in the chat? Yeah, please. If you're if you're in here listening, <laughs> give us some Pog Chats so we can give some shirts away. I'm loving it. So the the problem up here on the top side though is where Rated R needs to be looking because it looked close at the beginning, but Shockpool has really been using this Kled to great effect here. Bendy Neck not quite able to trade as effectively. And I, I think he would normally go Conqueror on Camille, instead wanting to, to be that front line, grabbing grasp of the Undying. But another engage on bottom, trying so hard. This engage here, Silas once again on the bottom side. One Bear is going in with Bendy Neck, but look at the damage there dealt onto One Bear. Shock pool, <laughs> so strong. That auto attack play. buff. Or, it's steroid, I should say. Definitely. Now Ignite is down, knocked off of Scarl. Shockpool does have Conqueror. Bendy Knight doing quite well, but does not have his jungler support. No stun there. Hexplosive gonna go in, get the stun, and Crazy Clown with the death from below, taken from before. Shockpool is gonna get yet another kill on the top side. Will we see a Retribution kill? One bear coming in with the biggest snowball ever, gets the knockup. 
unable to land the first bit of the route, but he has it, and that's a shutdown in favor of Rated R Esports. They're moving in on the Dragon right now. Uh, I don't... There's nothing they can do about it. They have to be 4-2. to two. They just pretty much have to give that up. They don't even have vision um, anywhere, really, in the area to even try to get in there and steal it. Uh, we've got regardless, two wards regardless on the map of vision, right now. That, that is a problem, but regardless of vision, they knew that one bear was up on the top side. So, SPK, they just said, let's go, man. There's no smite steal, there's no consume, nothing is going to stop this. Even with, without taking into account vision, without taking into account uh, the bot lane priority, just a smart move from SPK. I'm really liking this pike pick into Nautilus, because even if he hooks pike... And you don't blow him up right away, he just E's out and heals up for most of the damage you did to him and comes back, like, nothing happened. Like, I I'm really liking the pick. Agreed. Beautiful. And it was almost a steal away, uh, support player from before. Baby Q is their substitute, and Pike was one of the, the regular roster's number one picks. I think he had 170 games on it. Wow. That's a lot of games. Yeah, Shockpool going for an aggressive invade here. Is he, gonna he is come spotted out, Indra? so Mono has to be careful. Charge Wait. is cast, but he didn't go anywhere. <laughs> that was kind of awkward. Okay, he ran so there the it wrong is. Way. One spots him out. <laughs> Mono is ready. <laughs> huh? Maybe click the mini map by accident. Feels I bad, bet man. that's what happened. I bet he went to charge and he hit the mini map. All right, so they have Vision here up by the Rift Herald, losing that control ward, but that does give Bendy Neck the signal to go around the Baron Pit. They need to be careful here, because there are too many members of Big Brain around that pit. Look at Bront Rito here, clearing this wave like crazy, dealing so much damage, completed Essence Reaver. But again, we've talked about it, these these objectives, they're just unable to get these turrets. Bending Neck going to take a lot of damage there. Already losing a quarter of his hit points from a, a quick exchange. Oh, trade of hooks there as Claude Dupree is going to get the stun down onto Baby Q. No damage really coming further. Rito didn't even have to expend his ultimate. Nice stun in the middle lane to save Mono. As we are back on the bottom side, root onto Claude Dupree, damage coming in, he flashes forward to try and get the stun, it does not work, Bethel now gets the kill onto Claude Dupree, Rito gets the spell shield to stop the Abscond of Dust, but that is so much damage, Summoner heal and flash, he makes it out, but at such a large cost, but look at this, the flash taking the turret shot, he just burned it for no reason there, Mono gonna take a quick hit, and go very, very low. You know, and this I, game is starting to get out of control, Proden. I, I really think that Bear should be camping bot lane. When your Sivers got three kills, you should be camping this lane like crazy. I agree with you there. There's honestly, that has been the focus. Uh, talking with coaches and um, especially with our guys, we want to be playing through the bottom side. With the skill that Rito is able to put down, he is so strong. And not just in this game, always he does so well. There's no reason really to play anywhere else. Well, if your mid lane had two kills and the bot lane had none, I would say, you know, definitely push more on the mid lane. But when your Sivir has three kills this early, pretty much, you know, uh, just between her and the support getting it for the most part. I mean, the, the jungler did help on um, one of them, I believe. Um, just keep pushing her ahead. Like, what are they going to do if Sivir has more and more kills? He goes in underneath the turret. Shockpool does deal a lot of damage, but the ignite and the roam from Mono Good job. gets another turn around kill. Bendy Neck picking that one up. Now, the communication is already looking better this game. Agreed. They're able to to effectively tell where they're going. But One Bear is here camping, but he is in vision. No flasher. He'll remember Rito goes down instantly. That's the shutdown over to Bethel. Claude Dupree is going really low. He gets hit with a death from below, stolen by a crazy clown. And that play is so unlucky. You hate to see it, yeah, but it's because of that ward. Dang, I, I, it almost looked like Rito, <laughs> Rito was AFK or DC, but I think he was just trying to bait, but he didn't expect the whole team to be there like that. That was Bendy Neck coming in on that teleport. A nice absolute zero, going to do a little bit of damage, but Crazy Clown gets that killing spree. Mono here, going to get rooted, going to take a lot of damage, has to flash away. 
He makes it out, but they're probably going to lose first turret here on the bottom side. And there it goes. Bethel picking that one up for SPK Big Brain. Yeah, other see, side of the map. The other team, because their bottom lane was behind, focused the bottom lane really hard and got Twitch back into this game. And that's not and, what you want to see? No, I really think had they been focusing the bottom lane, it would... It wouldn't be I think it, like that. And now they lose priority on the second Infernal Drake. Not what you want to see. Objectives, we talked about it. They've already improved their communication, but now we need to see their objective game go up. A nice fight up here. Shockpool flashes, and now he has no way to really get out of here. They need to toggle their champion kill only buttons. Going over the wall, Benny Neck flashes. He gets one more hip and gets it before <laughs> Starl goes down. That's Mono getting a kill in the middle lane against Hexplosive, but immediately dying and losing his turret. This is getting close, everybody. Yeah, they need to slow it down, I think. Whoa! Yikes! That blind hook there. Baby Q does throw down the Ignite. In comes the bottom lane, though. Hextech ultimatum thrown down by Crazy Clown. Baby Q actually gets in and gets the kill on the Rito. And now no one can kill this Silas. The Kingslayer is too powerful. And that is an ace for SPK Big Brain. Oh man, Silas was their bane last week in that second game they played. Yeah, si Champion honestly, so I still much believe work. Silas is overtuned. I think his, uh, his, uh, his W, right, that heals and does the damage, I yes. think that's the hill's too big. It has always been too big. It, well, yeah, but so they rebuffed it again. And yeah. He gets all the damage on it. He gets a ton of damage and a ton of healing. It's like, you can't go wrong with that thing. <laughs> it's just... No. Honestly, I think he's still overtuned. Just the amount of healing he gets is ridiculous, and there's and no reason for it. I think his Q does too much damage now. With the buff they gave it, I think it's too much. Speaking of too much, it has not quite been that for Rated R Esports against SBK Big Brain. They're not that far behind. Actually, I just did some math in my head and realized that I am a liar. There's about <laughs> 7,000 gold here. Mono walks the wrong direction, gets a stun, but goes down. Explosive does oh, make no, it out with about 100 hit points. It was close. But when your team is already backed out, that's not the route you want to take. Yeah, I'm liking Watch, that here by has a lot more work away. Though. Nice engage here underneath the turret. Rito gets the spell shield on the ultimate, a knockup here underneath the turret, but his damage is too high. Shockpool loses all of Scaro under the turret, but that is all. Hits against champions will help him get that courage back as well as killing the minions. Rift Herald is summoned here on the bottom side. Ultimate stolen by Crazy Clown, and these guys are getting yet another giant push. And the turret goes down. Yeah, too many, too many uh, small fights again. They were doing really well at the start, and then the lack of focus on the, the lane that was... Oh, that really hook hard. actually lands on the mono, and Crazy Clown able to get the ultimate that he had stolen. One bar picks up a kill underneath the turret. In goes Benny Neck. He gets... The ultimate down onto Crazy Clown, who goes into the stopwatch. They pick up that kill. Shockpool still underneath the turret, taking a lot of damage. He loses Scarl, but Bethel is super strong. Rito throws down the spell shield, flashes away. Bethel does manage to pick him up, but goes down himself. Oh. And that is another ace for Big Brain. And they continue the push. Oh, it was almost really good there. I mean, it wasn't absolutely terrible, but with... With their mid laner pushing the top lane and then and then dying, and they're gonna lose two turrets, most likely. They keep the inhibitor turret on the bottom side, but they are gonna lose this top one, like you were saying, unless they have it here. The root does not land, and that snowball is very big. Hexplosive is gonna get hit. He manages to get the pop blossom, but he gets stunned by the Scout of the Week. Goes golden. Nice stopping of the blast cone one bear good gives job, the job. kill over to mono that's a good shutdown over onto mono it'll be a, a nice chunk of gold for him to get agreed still good things coming out of this squad 10,000 gold down five turrets to zero they are still able to to claw out some spikes here 
stun, knock up, damage onto Crazy Clown, but it doesn't matter because he's got that W. This is a full on team fight now. One Bear is ignited. Sheckpool is up on the top side, ignited, taking a lot of damage. They aren't able to pick up the kills. Silas inside, doesn't matter because they get a stun onto Baby Q. A lot of damage, but back up from behind has so much damage. Bendy Neck is gonna get his shield, is unable to take him down, and Bethel just slaughters Rated R Esports with the quadra kill on the Twitch. Uh, I thought that fight was going Rated R's way. Kled dove into four people and is tanky enough to live through the whole fight and get out, and while Twitch comes in with. with the flank and just melt four people from Rated R. What a beautiful team fight. If you're an SPK big brain fan, everything was perfect there. He goes in, he gets popped. One bear does not get a kill. Claude gets BBQ, but Bethel goes unstoppable. They're pushing up on this inhibitor. What can Rated R Esports do? They get a stun and the damage there, that's a shutdown, but Crazy Clown in the front side, Hexplosive is not actually over there, Crazy Clown using that death from below to get two, will he get three, he does! Oh my. SPK, big brain, using that big brain, two large multi-kills on two of their carries within a minute of each other, this just might be the end of the game, Proton. His Silas like ults that he stole from Pike have been so good like I don't I think he's gotten a kill with every single one of them like that was a it's, triple kill right there yes it definitely was it, it's so much this guy uh, again Silas just either you have to pick him or you have to ban him I just I don't see any other way around it he you is know, so strong of a champion it has nothing to do with just as W or just as ultimate, it's the combo yeah. of the two, the champion is so powerful. And if he's ahead, if you think you, you know, you're full health, you think you have him dead, he jumps in on you, it hits you with that W, combos you, and you die, and you're like, wait, wait, I was winning that fight, well, what happened, mm -hmm. he has full health now. <laughs> and, and another thing also is just how tanky Shockpool is right now. You can see that his primary was not the, um the green tree he definitely went up into the yellow and he's only built hit points as we go into another fight look at all that crowd control onto one bear he manages to get a few hit points back but this is it charge coming in a beautiful pop loss of double kill three kills four kills that is another ace for sbk that big brain game. and they can just run it up and end the game with those super minions already at the turrets yeah camille but she hadn't even finished an item yet if she if she had her Triforce, it would have been different, but she just can't put the damage out until she gets the Triforce. So at this point, all she is is someone who jumps in the back line and hopefully disrupts because she's not going to kill anybody. And Agreed. that's really a problem when you can't just blow up Twitch like that. Mm. Well, that's going to do it for game number one for Rated R Esports versus SPK Big Brain. We want to give a thank you to everyone who has participated here in the stream. We do need to give away a t-shirt, though. The first person to spam any emote in there, we will get you a free Rated R Esports t-shirt. While Proton and I go ahead and talk a little bit uh, about the game, where what went well, what didn't go so well. And there we go. Hot Pepper Gamer with the Kappa is going to get a free Rated R Mono Esports. <laughs> you don't get a shirt, Mono King. <laughs> Hot Pepper Gamer. And go Sunday. ahead and... Yeah, it's Sunbay. Give it two away, right? There. <laughs> okay, we can give away two. Or, I, Sunbay. You said two at the start, I believe. I did say two. So, Sunbay. Guys, go ahead and add Juhadre hashtag 8519 in Discord. We'll get your information and we'll get you some rated R esports t shirts. Make sure and tell us who you are so that we can get that to you. Thank you so much for joining us. And, uh, you know, just it has to be that objective focus that we were talking about that's what needs to change well, i think they're they're playing against a hard engaged team and they fought while being hard engaged on every time like it was some of the same problems we had when i was playing on the team where we'd go against the hard engaged team and they'd hard engage on us and we'd fight them and then mm -hmm. instead of backing out and peeling or whatever and then re-engaging because once they re-engage the fight you know once we re-engage because that's the team comp we kind of had we win where our team would have been better just peeling and then re-engaging. 
using Agreed. Sivir ult to run back, you know, stun them off, and then come back in because when Nautilus doesn't have ult, uh, Silas, or I mean, you know, uh, sorry, not Silas, Clad uses his ult, uh, you know, maybe just gets on the tank while their backline disengages, everyone disengages, uh, Nico can't get to your backline and CC everyone, you know, Nautilus can't get to them, and then you re-engage. They don't have their tools for engagement anymore, and you're going to do a lot better with Sivir when she's just boomerang through the whole team. And then you've got you've got uh, Syndra who could throw ults, or not ults, but stuns through the whole team and help you disengage back through. Or, you know, get a pick. But you definitely don't want to fight them while they're hard engaging on you. They have too much initial CC with Silas, with Kled, with Nautilus, uh, Nico. Like, you cannot fight that right off the bat with, with their, their team comp. Definitely not. Well, that's going to do it for the stream here for game number one. Don't forget to watch that Rated R Esports or Rated R Lull on Twitter. We will be coming back again for a stream with our game against VS uh, Dead Gummit. <laughs> VS Pro Academy, I think, is their name. Getting tongue tied, Jahadre? <laughs> no, I just forgot the name. VS Purge Academy coming up at 8 Eastern Time. We will see you back then. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Bye bye.